Meantime, a proposed noise ordinance was approved for a first reading by Lufkin City Council, but will need another one. The city's police chief says it has been about three years since they have had one in place, and there have been concerns from the community. KTRE's Vanessa Johnson explains what this means for residents. We've attended uh, community meetings, community groups, and everywhere uh, that we speak or that we attend, they always ask about our noise ordinance and when we're going to reenact it and when can we have a new one and how can we enforce it. So this is just a response from the community. The proposed ordinance that Police Chief David Thomas is referring to will be defined as an unreasonably loud, unnecessary disturbing noise emanating from an electronic source that's offensive to the ordinary sensibility of a person, audible from 50 feet or more. For instance, having a party with loud music that bothers your neighbor. Uh, we're not worried about your weed eater. Uh, we're not worried about uh, you yelling in your front yard. We're worried about uh, the quality of life issues and just having a nice, peaceful neighborhood. Consequences will begin with the verbal warning and officers will take note of the visit. The second call will be a citation. The third can result in an arrest and the equipment being used can be taken by the police. There is a, a state law that we can use to enforce this, uh, but it's not specific to music. So we have this specific to music or noise. Thomas says if the noise is from a car's radio while driving through a neighborhood, it will be handled as a normal moving violation. He also ensured the council they will keep track of all the calls they report to to show the use of the ordinance. Vanessa Johnson, KTRE, East Texas, News 9. Now for that noise ordinance to be official, City Council will have to approve it at a future meeting.